The lecture is about the new map of the financial world. It focuses on the patterns and trends in the world of finance since the global financial crisis that broke out in 2008 with the subprime crisis in the US, which then triggered the Eurozone crisis. So it's about these broad patterns and trends in the world of finance and the impact of those on uneven development in the world economy. If you ask someone in 2008, 2009, during the peak of the crisis, what they expected the map of the financial world to look like in 2015, 2016, they would probably say the following. They would expect large financial institutions to become smaller under the pressure of regulations. It was the too big to fail problem with these institutions that led to the crisis. Second, they would expect US financial institutions to become less dominant because the crisis brewed in the US and spread from the US to the rest of the world. Finally, they would expect the rise of Asia and Global South as a center of financial activity. And guess what? We present evidence in this lecture that this hasn't happened. None of these expectations have materialized. So what has happened instead? We've seen a lot of change in terms of new regulation, new technology, and demand for financial services in the Global South. But what these forces have tended to do they have actually increased the concentration and centralization in financial activity and financial power in few financial centers with New York and London even more dominant than they were in 2008 and with biggest financial institutions even bigger and more dominant than they used to. Though the identity of these institutions have changed slightly. So for example, it's no longer the big investment banks that dominate like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan. These are asset management companies like BlackRock, Vanguard, that dominate the financial landscape now. Now we at a very important, a critical juncture in the history of finance. And in my view, it is the EU referendum that will be absolutely crucial for what the map of the financial world would look like in the future. So it's the political and geopolitical events that will be decisive. As far as the impact of the EU referendum is concerned, our research shows that it would most likely be very, very negative, not only for the City of London, but also for the whole British financial sector, as well as related business services, accounting, law, consulting. The problem is that these services, this sector, really depends on free flows of information, capital, services, and people. And being a member of the EU allows a very high level of freedom in these flows. After Brexit, these freedoms would be diminished. And as a result, the City of London and the British Finance and Advanced Business Services would be negatively affected. And mind you, UK is the largest exporter in the world of financial and business services. This is absolutely a vital part of the British economy. And Brexit could have a very negative impact on the sector.